friends today i am going to describe retrograde intubation technique by using retrograde intubation kits in difficult airway situations retrograde intubation is the accepted mode of establishing airway even though it is little invasive success rate will be high when we use retrograde intubation kits available in the current market it is the case of cervical myelopathy patient had severe restriction of neck movements and malampati was grade 4 here i used cooks retrograde intubation kit it contains introducer needle j tip guide wire syringe retrograde intubation catheter coming to the preparation of airway upper airway prepared by using 2% lignocaine viscous gargle and low airway prepared by giving nebulization of 1% lignocaine solution in addition to ebo preparation transtracheal block should be given for effective anesthetization of airway here cricothyroid membrane punctured by using introducer needle and then needle stillet is withdrawn after the position of the catheter has been confirmed by aspiration of air and at this point 2 cc of 2% lignocaine solution instilled during patient's inspiration patient will get reflex cough during expiration and it also spreads the local anesthetic solution across the airway now j tip guide wire is passed through the lower end of the catheter until retrograde guide wire protrude from the mouth and lower end of it must be secured by pair of forceps Then catheter guide lubricated with water soluble jelly threaded over the retrograde wire until it reaches the puncture site behind the cricothyroid membrane. As the tip of the catheter guide reaches the lower airway, it will induce cough. At this point, guide wire will be removed and catheter guide will be stabilized and ET tube was railroaded over it. Now remove the catheter guide after confirming the ET2 position by auscultation method or by looking at the capnographic trace of the patient. So friends thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe it for latest updates in my channel. Thank you.